Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. It's Sunday so I thought I'd bring you on a walk. Now I know a lot of you don't live in Ireland so I thought I'd share with you a beautiful area where I live and so I'm bringing you to the Wicklow Mountains National Park and we're going to climb the Jouse Mountain. Brought my father along for the trip and he is an avid walker just back from the Camino Way. So for him, this mountain climb, which took a couple of hours, was just a leisurely stroll for him. Always picking up rubbish. But to be fair, I found one bit here and one at the top of the mountain. But other than that, it's really nicely preserved and people who walk here seem to really respect the habitat. Now this whole area used to be covered in forest and then supposedly it was a result of climate change and human activity that then brought on these blanket bogs. So they were formed around 4,000 years ago and then they brought in these reclaimed sleepers just so they could protect the bog. And J.B. Malone there, he was the instigator of really the Wicklow Way, which is a wonderful walk that you can go on. Wild heather is everywhere. Going on walks always gets me thinking how we have so much right there on our doorstep and we can spend so much time travelling to other countries when our own country has so much to give us. And of course, it's much simpler to stay in your own country and stay locally if you can. And in this day and age where consumerism is absolutely rampant, there's nothing more wonderful than going walking in nature. There's some bog water and did you know they're great for dragonflies to reproduce? And the sheep are always grazing. So when you go on country walks like this, something that is so rich, you rarely pass that many people. So it's such an absolute treat and it really makes you grateful for what you have around you. We got to the top after a couple of hours and of course when walking a mountain you always get that treat at the top of looking at the wonderful view. That's Crone Wood in the middle distance there Okay. and you can walk up so that you're looking down on the waterfall and looking yeah. down you know where the cars that's are. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, that's where I thought we were going today. <laughs> And there's always time to stop and have a little picnic. Brings back memories of when we used to go walking as children. Let me know if that was something you did. We always used to bring sandwiches and soup. And then usually in Ireland it's raining so we'd have to wait and eat everything in the car. But we were completely blessed last week with the most wonderful sunshine in the autumn time. Little thing we have over here, I don't know if it's the same where you live, where it's leave no trace. And so even if things like, you know, the skins of oranges, it doesn't matter even if it will compost down, you bring everything home with you. And I just found another little piece of rubbish. And then after that lovely walk, you still have the magical view. 
take it all in. You've got the fresh air. That beautiful wild heather. That's Lacte. I'm going up in mountains and going down mountains. It always makes me think of life and its journey. Marines training, uh, is there. It's a very gentle oh. way of living. And you really see the splendor of going for a walk. I know it sounds so simple, but yet it brings so much joy. So thank you so much for coming on the walk with me. And I'll see you in the next video.